You'll never make it. You'll never make it. You're nothing but a try and hard copycat. Do you know what? You're never gonna make it. You're nothing but a try hard copycat. Jin Ho Bae again over here with his international best friend, Jamie Miller! Please say hi to your Filipino fans. Hello guys, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I'm so excited to be here. Wow, slow down. Your accent is wow, making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... You guys know Jamie over here, without a doubt. International, global, star singer. That's the best way I could describe you. You know, oh, I wow. only watch you from YouTube music and like your past songs are also such a hit. Thank but you. I heard you're here for different collaborations and you're here to promote your... Yeah, my EP. Yes. Could you give us a little bit? Yeah, so my EP comes out October 4th called The Things That I Left and Said. And my song Here's Your Perfect kind of took off here. So I wanted to come back and just do it, like meet my fans and just see the people that changed my life. And I just wanted to give back to everybody that like is the reason that I'm here today. That's so. everything he says is like 100% true because I've never seen an international star wanting to collaborate with just local YouTubers. Usually they would prefer going to like big TV stations and radio stations but <laughs> you chose really the local people yeah dude, I mean that, are you I mean international star like that I, I don't know but I appreciate it does that cringe you a little bit <laughs> no I, I just, you're international <laughs> I feel like that I'm just still so normal I feel like oh. this will never be normal to me like going to the uh -huh. other side of the world and like hearing people sing my songs back to me it still hasn't like processed in my mind so of course I want to do this like I Love Speaking of your, you know, past songs, like, how did it feel when your song went, like, viral? Yeah, viral all over the world. Yeah, um, to be honest, crazy. I didn't expect that. I wasn't even gonna put it out. So when I put it out and it did what it did, it was just, like, the most surreal experience to me. I remember my team hitting me up saying, I got number one in three countries. And I'm like, what? Literally, everyone was doing that. Ah, ah. I was like, oh my god, my knee burns <laughs> Everyone's trying to achieve That's, that. That was like the most fun thing to watch because I feel like it became a challenge uh -huh. and like everybody hit in the notes. And just to see how phenomenal the people, he, especially here in the Philippines were, they sang it better than me. I was like, really? You're going to do me dirty like that? I was like, <laughs> exactly. Dang. You know, I'm a Korean here in the Philippines. Yeah. And I've lived here for 20 years. So, wow. you know, I'm most likely local, but you know, I still get up to this day, the talents of the Filipinos surprise me Mind up blowing. to this day. For real though. So you've been here for about a week now, right? Yes, a week. How was your experience so far? Honestly, I feel like this has been my favorite trip that I've ever been on. And I'm not just saying it. I think just because I didn't expect the warm welcome that I received. And just going on, like, every day has been so fun. Like, going on so many TV shows, meeting so many people, meeting, like, my friend Moira. We did Wish Bus wow. together, which was so fun. And just, like, it was just re really inspiring that I'm able to do this and get to do this for a living. I'm still, like, I don't know. I feel like I have imposter syndrome. I'm like, how right am now. I here? You know what I mean? It's, this is too surreal for yeah, you. It's... It really is, man. I'm really grateful. You know the word, sana all. Sana all. Oh. <laughs> His pronunciation is I actually know. really good. Pogi Mahakukayo. Oh, Mahakukayo. Pogi. Wow. <laughs> you sound very expensive when you say Mahakukayo, you know? <laughs> when I say it, you know, girls run away. Like, oh, sh hell no, you know? <laughs> Mahakukayo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so can you tell us about your new EP? What is it all about? What yeah. inspired you? Mm -hmm. And what do you want people to imagine while they listen to your song? Yeah, I think after Here's Your Perfect, I was like so busy with like so many different things. And obviously like there's no guidebook to songs becoming mm -hmm. a hit or anything like that. So it was like really unexpected. Last year was a really tough year for me, if I'm being honest with you personally. Oh. And I think it bled into my work life. And I was on tour for like four months and then I ended up coming off tour and just like kind of having a little breakdown. So I needed to take some oh. time off to like realize what I wanted to do, who I want. kind of lost sight of Jamie for a little bit. So this whole EP is a story of just that. And I think it starts off like really sad and then it takes you through my healing journey oh. and then by the end of it it's very empowering so. that's why i was listening to your songs yes. recently and you know some are really sad really some sad. are really depressing Hugo. like just the Hugo. intro is what you got who got who got who got wow you're so good so you used to be on that who got era yeah but then some of your songs are actually like Sounds hopeful, if I may. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think this EP definitely strays into the hopeful 
uniqueness of my Thank music. You. And I think just because I want to show people that it's okay not to be okay sometimes and it does get better, you know? Wow. Yeah. Like very timely because like I myself have been, you know, through those, you know, ups and downs through the pandemic. I'm sure everyone yeah. did, but I noticed sometimes there aren't much songs I could relate to. Yeah. Because it's almost like, I'm not saying this for everyone else out there, but for me, it was kind of like, Okay, it's pandemic. I'm going through things. Right. But why are the songs always so happy? It's almost as if we're denying everything. You yeah, get it? Yeah, yeah. So when I heard your song, like recently on YouTube, I was like, oh my God, this is relatable. Thank this you, is man. healing me as well Aww. as a listener. And it just goes so well with your husky, unique voice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and I, I hope we could hear that in the future, but Jamie is booked, guys. So I'm <laughs> not sure if he's gonna give us a sample later, but I want this international star to rest his vocal for better stages. All right. Do you you want to share anything that you've experienced recently in the Philippines that I, you find it very unique? Um, I've been doing like a bunch of stuff. I've been doing a lot of TV shows. The personalities here <laughs> are so different from what I'm used to in the UK and America. And like everybody's so happy and so like, do you know what I mean? I'm like, not yeah. saying that we aren't in the UK and America, but I think it's more so like yeah, extra like, energetic. Extra energetic. I think that's the Filipino. Like Showtime and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah. We don't have that yeah. in, the, in America and the UK. Like it's just like everyone's so like yeah. smiling. And Filipinos are very loving. Yes. Like, even if they don't know you, they would still welcome you. Yeah, no, I've been called brother and cousin oh. a lot on this trip. And I take it as such an honor. So. All right, that's good. So now that was our Tarachika portion. Now we'll be moving on to Tara Laro portion. This is our first item. Mm -hmm. Can uh, you read it for us? Tabo? Yes, tabo. Tabo. What do you think it is for? A measuring cup? <laughs> <laughs> well, you could measure if you have a lot of time. Okay. Try try another guess. Is it like washing? Wash it. You put stuff in the washing machine? No, actually, tabo is pretty big. Okay. Filipinos use this for shower. The shower? Yeah. We would put it in like a big basin. Okay. Because not a lot of Filipino households have like, you know, luxury shower heads and everything. Okay. So what some of the locals would do would like fill up their water and then they would use that to take a bath. So please wow. remember this tabo, okay? I will remember tabo. Next time you come to Philippines, we'll hand you some custom tabo. <laughs> okay. With like Swarovski I'll crystals try it. on it. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is called Bilao. Is it for... Wow, I feel like I'm gonna get all these wrong now. <laughs> uh, do you put like food cuisines on it? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Below, right? So you got that correct. I'll give that to you. So these are actually handmade. Oh wow, really? Have you tried pancit in the Philippines? I haven't. I, my favorite food that I've tried here though is kare kare. Kare kare? Yeah, kare kare. Wow. Yeah. He makes kare kare. And balut. What? Balut. You tried balut? Yes. You ate balut? I did. That yeah. unhatched duck yeah. who went straight into the heat? They, my team took me around and I was, just wanted to immerse myself in the Filipino culture, so I did. Oh. Wow! I'm gonna get cancelled for this! I've never tried that! Whoa! You tried balut? How did it taste? <laughs> did. So good. I loved it. So, I did. Jamie. I did. Lie detector. <laughs> come on, give me that. Come on. My you, taste buds. Did you sip the juice? Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know if I sipped the juice, actually. Did I, you make the eye contact with the duck? No, I couldn't. No. <laughs> How about this? It's called Piccolo Papotok. Well, it kind of gives it away. It says fireworks. My God, Kevin! <laughs> it's a firework, but it's not the typical firework we see on the sky. Okay. This is actually like a land firework. Huh. You use it on the land. So you would lit up and then you would put it on the ground and you have to run for your life. Really? Really. Like dynamite? Yes, kind of like that. But yeah, you have to be careful using this. So you know, uh, Philippine, I've done my research on why they would do this because mm. it's not as pretty as the ones on the sky. Right. And according to some belief that fire Fireworks and like these things that explode would scare off bad spirits. Ooh. Yeah, so they would do it on New Year's Eve or like Chinese New Year. And it's still a tradition now? Yes. Now, we have the bunot. So I'll give you a clue. It's made from a coconut shell, as you can see. Mm -hmm. 
It's a coconut, but it's cut into half. And another clue is, I notice gonna, that I, it's I'm on so the floor. I'm so glad you said coconut, because I was going to say, is that like a gonna pumpkin? Or <laughs> it does kind of look like a pumpkin. Uh, I don't know what it is. So this is basically, like I said, it's a coconut cut into half. You rub it on the floor to polish the floor. So it's like a local way of waxing the floor. No way. So it shines. Wow. I know, right? I need to do that for my house. Yes, you should. Yeah. Like, get, get a coconut and Just like, like, yeah. Scrub. You would, you would have to scrub it. Like, when you're a Filipino student, you have to do this before you leave the class. <laughs> really? Yeah, because here we teach like proper cleaning. So, so everybody in the class? Yes, we take turns. We call it the cleaners of the day. Wow. So I don't know how it is with Western culture, but here in the Philippines, like students are disciplined. You clean as you go. Well, I mean, I think that explains why you guys are so kind. Oh, oh really? We, we, don't, we don't have that. And now, Jamie, of course, if there's one thing I notice about the Filipinos, it's when you learn about their culture. Yeah. It's really easy to learn and win a Filipino's heart. Yeah. And that is just by simply appreciating our culture. Totally. And speaking about culture, like, I want to teach you some Tagalog slang. Okay. All right? Thumbs down. Are you ready for that? I'm so ready. Like, first things first, like, what are the Tagalog words you've already learned? Um, okay, so I landed and people said bogey. Yeah, bogey. So I know that means handsome. Handsome. And then I know Mahakakai. I don't know if that's... Yeah, I love that, you guys. Yes, and then I know... Oh, I forgot. So because I want you to tap the hearts of the younger generation as well. Let's do it. First, we have Omsin. Omsin. Omsin means absolutely. I agree oh, with you. Omsin, babe. So when I ask you like, do you like this food? You would say, Omsin. 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 So He's got that Hollywood eye, so it makes everything look expensive. <laughs> When I say Omsim, I look like, I don't know, like Jollibee mascot or something. <laughs> I did. I was hanging out with the Jollibee mascot yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Were you doing the Jolly Jolly? Did the Jolly, jolly dance. I, did, I took me and 30 fans out for dinner. Wow. So we did like the Jollibee mascot. How old are you, Jamie, if I may ask? I'm 26. Wow, how refreshing it is to see a 26-year-old white guy shaking his butt in Jollibee. Jollibee. Right? I mean, like... Refresh it! Right? So yeah, it was fun. I heard like Philippines is also a good country to sing mm. just because it's humid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is explains. that true? Well, I guess everyone can sing so high over here. Whereas mm. if I keep going every day, I lose it. But everybody else just seems to keep on going and their range just never stops. And I'm like, how do you do that? Yeah, yeah. So next word I'm gonna teach you is, well, it's called Eme. Eme. Eme is like, just kidding. Eme. Yeah, just kidding. Uh, M -M. So we're gonna say like, bro, why are you so haggard today? Are you tired or something? M M bro. <laughs> you say M or charot. Charot. Yeah, charot. charot, charot lang. Charot, no, no. Charot lang. Yeah. Just M -M. You would throw like the most horrible joke and just say M and it's forgivable. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So now. please, I I hope you don't do that on I don't, TV. I don't <laughs> Horrible joke. Emmy, I'm just Emmy, <laughs> you guys. Yeah, that's good. Is there anything you guys want him to learn? Because they all listen to your music. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You actually, though? They actually know. What's your favorite song? Go on. Okay. How about you? <laughs> Uh, that was actually like Filipino anthem last year. Really? Like this, yeah, everywhere. Like this year, yeah. early this year, everyone was seeing that as in. It kind of gave me that Ed Sheeran, you know, thinking out loud days. Wow. There are a few songs here in the Philippines that's like that becomes an anthem yeah. of that year, and your song was one of it. And I'm not even kidding. Thank you so much. I'm well. not. I still like just hearing that. I'm just like. What? Yeah, but it's of so course, like, Filipinos are amazing singers, but it's different when I hear it from your voice. You have that unique... Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. thank oh, you, thank you. It. All right, so that's it for the Tara Laro. And I hope I can see you using the Eme, Charot, and Om Sim. Only in the correct way, though. Yeah. I won't get canceled. Well, everything's Eme, correct. It's just Om a Sim. matter of... <laughs> Om Sim. Yeah, Om Sim. Yeah, yeah. You got good humor. Now, I want Jamie to try some of the Filipino delicacies. Oof, I'm hungry, so let's, let's go, let's it. go. So, wow. as what you can that? see, this is called suman. Suman. Yeah. Um, My mouth is watering. Really? I'm okay, hungry. let's keep it simple. What do you want to go first? Which one do you want to attack first? This one. Remember this is fault? called kwek kwek. Kwek kwek? Yes. So, it's basically quilled egg wrapped in flour. Okay. Oh. I was gonna ask you to dip it on the sauce, but mm. how is Can it? I, I'll do it again. Yeah, yeah, go. Mm. If I you like want. That. 
Did someone make these? So good. Yeah, these are all home cooked. And what is the sauce? This is the Filipino style <laughs> sweet chili sauce. How is it? Mm. Is it good? Mm. Right. So good. you'll see a lot of uh, Filipino street vendors selling this stuff. I could eat that all day. Exactly. Wow, that's and so good. This you could try. It's called Kikiam. Kikiam? How does it taste? Okay. What do you like better, kikiam or kwek kwek? <laughs> oh, you like kikiam! <laughs> yeah! I'm hungry. Guys, feed your artist! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's so good. I'm so fascinated of how much you like Filipino foods. It's incredible. I love it. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Like, even when I'm in America, I don't eat American food. What? So good. That is really good. Like actually really good. Oh. It's a warm water. Thank you. I'm kind of scared to try the rest. That one is scared. This one? Yeah. It, does it scare you? It's what? a bit mad. Do you eat it like that or do you unwrap all it? We unwrap this here. Okay. It's kind of sticky on the outside. So this is called suman. Suman? Yes. I've heard of suman. Honestly, the best way I could describe it is just rice cake. A lot of the Filipino delicacies come from rice. Okay. Yeah, made from rice. And then... Try to unwrap it. So these are banana leaves. Okay. Unwrap it like this. You know what? People would dip this on sugar or sometimes... Coconut. Yeah, coconut. It's like sticky rice. Yeah. yeah. Sticky rice. Good. Is it? I would say 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Yeah. Kikiam. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Quick, quick. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, wow. When I tried that, it was 10, and then I tried that, then that 10 out of 10. All right. What do you want to go next? Let's do that one. This is called bibingka. Bibingka? Yeah. So in bibingka. English, if I may English fight, it's the egg tart. Yeah, kind of Filipino style of egg tart. Egg tart? Yeah, it's my favorite. It is? Yeah. Okay, it's good. I'm eating it. Isn't it hot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think mm. so. You should try it like this? Yeah, just bun it. You'll like that. It is good. Wow. Yeah, it's good, right? Mm. I should have took you with me to try in Filipino food. This is the best that I've tried it? so far. Wow, this is so good. It's like a, kind of like a sponge cake. I would say 9 out of 10. All right. But that's a dessert, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you don't eat that for dinner. <laughs> for some reason, I kind of flash on the Gordon Ramsay in my face. Did you say I look like Gordon Ramsay? No, you you kind of reminded me about Gordon Ramsay raiding each food. <laughs> <laughs> I know, as if I'm some food connoisseur. Yeah. It tastes really good. Aww. I really want you to try this. This used to be my very, very ultimate Filipino favorite food. Okay. It's a caramelized egg pudding, I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah, try it. Okay. Normally, I'm very fussy. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. How is it? <laughs> okay. Those are fine. Oh. That's your favorite? Well, it used to be okay. when I was younger. And then as I age, I'm like one spoon is enough. Yeah, yeah, is enough. I think that's me too. But, but this lasts long in the refrigerator, so once Filipinos cook this, you know, they just like so divide it. Should some people here do that in one sitting? Just one person? Can you guys eat this in one sitting? No. Oh. Yes? No? Yes? You like sweets? Uh -huh. You must that's be good. healthy and non-diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> now lastly, we have the pastillas. It's a type of candy, pastry, but it's more like, yeah, milky, or like basically everything here is sugar. Yep. <laughs> I know. Don't puke, Jamie. <laughs> Just have a little. Mm. Kind of reminds me of like white chocolate. Mm. How would you rate this? I like that. I would say like eight. eight. This is probably my favorite Filipino, well, not dessert, but snack. Okay. And when you go in the streets of Philippines, you will see vendors. You call this ice scramble. Ice scramble. Yeah, so ice scramble. Yeah. But you want to say it locally. Ice scramble. Ice scramble. Ice scramble. Yeah. Ice scramble. So I know you have a lot, you know, you have to perform later. So I don't want you to have too much, okay? okay? But just by the fact that Jamie's trying this, you know, to appreciate Filipino culture means a lot. So, all right. Without further ado, let's go. Okay. You can I'll, I'll do it first, okay? Yeah. Right here. 
You want you want the ice? So there are ube versions of this, chocolate version, but this is the main What's color. The it's the strawberry version. I love strawberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cold, cold, cold. Yeah, it's cold, cold. <laughs> so we have powdered milk. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we use the baby powder okay. as well. <laughs> and if you don't have one, I make... <laughs> Just kidding. I want this one. Yeah. Chocolate. This one you need you must put. Okay, cool. Everything else is an option, but this you better. Okay, good. Cool. I got you. You put as much as you want. Like this? Yeah. Just a scoop, I guess. Yeah, and the then chocolate looks good. I'm a chocolate guy. Oh, you're a chocolate Ooh, guy? No dark chocolate. You don't like dark chocolate? I like dark chocolate. I like dark chocolate. That's giving red flag. Okay, like that. Ooh. Okay. We had marshmallows? Yes. Oh, the one. full experience? Yes, you should. And then you mix it all in? Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, are you ready? ready. Mix it well. Mix the powder well. Okay. Okay, okay. Half a spoon. transported. <laughs> I used to go on a holiday to Spain. Yeah. And me and my mom used to walk to the ice cream van. And this tastes like what we used to get. Mm. This tastes really good. Aww. It's not too sweet, is it? Mm. It's not like, you know, like a throat hurting sweet. It helps. What? Oh, really? Yeah. We're really Jamie, good. be careful, okay? It's really Later, good. if you peel, not my fault. Well, peel uh, is out of tune. Like, <laughs> well, let's, let's peel. Well, I'll blame you. Oh my God. Wow, well, this is very good. Aww. Is it? I'm so happy you're trying a lot. Like, this is hard to find in the Philippines. Really? Yeah, back in the early 20s and 90s, this was really easy to find. But now, you know, as the generation changed, everyone's craving for milk tea now, not this. Wow. So this was, this is pretty a challenge to find it. But we did it for you, Jamie. I love you, man. Thank um, you. See. Um, see. <laughs> <laughs> and then the name of the dishes that we tried earlier, mm -hmm. I said that word 10 out of 10. I need the name of it. Kikiam and kwe kwe ko alam nyo na. We call Filipino street foods tusok tusok. Tusok tusok. Tusok means to poke. To poke. So when you eat in the like streets, easy. you don't have a plate and dishes. So you just like poke it. Oh, wow. So when you say, let's go have tusok tusok, that means street food. This is yeah. really good. <laughs> oh, ma'am. Uh. <laughs> Pag ito talaga pumiyok mama yan. <laughs> you piyok later, oh my god. Abu fang. Yeah. It's so good. Is it? Wow. No. <laughs> so now, this is the last portion. So this is the emotion, and this is the lines, the sentence. Okay. So you have to pick one sentence, and you have to say it in this kind of emotion. Oh, gosh. All right. Okay. okay. So pick, pick. you're gonna do it with me, or are you just of gonna course, make? Of course, of course. Surprise. Surprise. Okay. Surprise is what Jamie chose. I apologize for my pronunciation if I get it no, wrong. You'll be very cute. Oh. Okay. Can I see it? Yeah. So surprise. Bea, Alonzo, Four Sisters, and a Wedding. This is a very popular movie in the Philippines. Okay. I think it's in the top five most popular. I'm gonna butcher this so yeah. bad. It is. Pero bakit parang galit ka? Pero bakit parang galit ka? So this, the situation here is, everyone's blaming you okay. because you're too perfect and you're too good. Okay. So, but you're just doing your best. Do okay. you get it? So yeah, yeah. it feels like you're being interrogated. Now you have to defend yourself. Okay. Can you do the, pero bakit parang galit ka? Pero bakit parang galit ka? He's good! What the heck? Give him a <laughs> Okay, show it to that camera. Pero bakit parang galit ka? <laughs> Jamie, you're so cute. <laughs> Do you want to try it the surprise way? Yes. Okay, surprise. Oh, was, was that angry? Yeah. Oh, that was my surprise. That was your surprise? Oh, wait. Like, pero? Yeah. Camera. You're so adorable. Thank and you. and your pronunciation is actually on point. Really? Really. I think you should do one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is the example. So the one you did a while ago was this one. <laughs> do you think you pulled it off? No. <laughs> I think I got the wrong memo. No, you did it perfect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, Oscar era. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, this is what I'll be doing. Sinasabi ko sa 
sa'yo para maging kanin bago ko ngayon hindi ako kumakain medyo hirain ko muna para maging kanin bago ko kain oh Did you see that? I did, but like you have very, you have a lot of voices that you do. It's like very high, very low. Guess what? And then I'm yes. a singer too. You are? Yeah. All right. Nang hihinaya, nang hihinaya ang puso ko. Bakit para? Wow. Oh, you actually can sing. Yeah. The set was like crazy. Really? It's the Filipino in me. Now, can you pick one last one? Yes. Oh gosh. I just want him to impersonate this properly naman. Sherry Gill and Sharon oh. Konata Between Walang Ningning. Between Walang Ningning. Between Walang Ningning. You, you see the sassiness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll never make it. You'll never make it. You're nothing but a second rate, trying hard, copycat. <laughs> okay. Actually, yeah, there's a scene after this where you have to spray water on me, but you know. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, my team, stop moving. Stop Ready? moving. We're not doing that. <laughs> like, you have to look at me as if, like, I'm your copycat. I do everything Jamie does. Right. I release the same lyrics as yours two weeks before your release, and I claim it, it's mine. Okay. You'll never make it. You'll never make it. You're nothing but a try and hard copycat. Ouch. <laughs> that I wasn't gonna stick to sing it. <laughs> could you just try doing it to the camera <clears throat> just so your fans could see? Rebecca, turn around. Rebecca, turn around. <laughs> You'll never make it. You're nothing but a try hard copycat. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Why did you ask Rebecca? Because <laughs> she. Me and Rebecca can't be in the same room because she makes me laugh. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna make fun of that? <laughs> Your face is so red right now. I think you're, you were laughing the entire time. So Jamie, thank you very much. No, no, no. I want to spray water on you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that? Yeah. Can we do that? No, 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 no. No, no not on you. <laughs> on Did you? What? Yeah, on this? me. You have to, you're nothing but a second graded. No, I, I insist. Can I please? Yes. Can you, can you imagine? Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh my god, I feel so bad. You'll never... Oh, wait, wait! Let me explain! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were not ready. I thought you were ready, Shep. <laughs> so guys, um, mga kapwa kong mga Pinoy, I insisted this because super, super, super happy po ako sa collab natin ngayon. I'm so happy that you were down on doing everything. Mm. So thank you very much. So we'll end this content with you splashing water on my face. And guys, note this. He doesn't want to do it. I want, I want. Like I want to be. I, I do want to do it. He's like, <laughs> I do. So you know what to do, okay? Jimmy, you only have one take. You better do it oh, well, okay? Oh. No retake on this, okay? You, okay. No retake. No there. retake. So you do the line. Did you memorize your line? Yeah, you know. You're nothing but a try hard copycat. Okay, so you do the camera. No, I think it's more believable if I look at oh, you. Shit, I'm scared. Do you know what? Okay. You're never gonna make it. You're nothing but a try hard copycat. <laughs>